What up, people? It's Annie Tier, or also Guild Forever, however you want to call me. Tonight, we're going to be discussing more on The Royal Tutor, episodes 4, 5, and 6. These were definitely some great episodes. We got more insight on a few of the characters, particularly more... We delve more into the characters of Leonhard and Licht, more Licht toward the end of the reaction. And I will have to admit, at first, I wasn't a huge fan of Licht, but after what happened with the last episode, I do like him a bit more now. And I honestly am starting to like Kai's character a bit less, simply because, I mean, we don't really see much of him, and the amount we do see is very little. If anything... But, I mean, Leonhard is still, like, the the character I like the most out of all the siblings. Number two is actually Licked now, because I really do appreciate what we got out of him for the last episode. Uh, the last recent episode that we reacted to. Kai is still uh, Kai is still up there, and Bruno is unfortunately last. Simply because Bruno's character is kind of what you would call that, like, that uh, teacher's pet literally he's a teacher's pet that's all right now I, the vibe I get he's a smart teacher's pet that's all he is I used to thought Lect was just a pretty boy playboy that's all I thought he was but after I saw these epi this episode with him and how he was before I come to appreciate his character more he's actually a more you can arguably say he has a very childish personality, which is true, but he's also a bit more complicated. And I like how he ha how he looks up towards his father and the relationship that grew and the backstory that came along with it. So I do appreciate Lick now. I like him a bit more, obviously, because now I, he's the second character I like the most. So right now is Leonhard, Leonhard, Licht, Kai, and Bruno. That's how I see it for myself. Um, I do have to admit, I am very, 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 very curious on the character, um, Hyena, the Royal Tutor. I, he's a very complicated character. He's very monotone. He believes he doesn't belong in this, uh, in this royalty environment. And he has an origin that if it ever were to come to light, he would have to leave. Now, why is why the secrecy for his past either he did something really bad maybe because now that i think about it remember like this guy um i don't I forgot his name but the one that was short toward the end of episode six the one that's trying to bring up a scandal between him and the uh, no not between him but basically for the member for the princes in line for the throne he's trying to create a scandalism there's just so they can ruin their reputation and lose their opportunity for the throne. Therefore, he can take over. Maybe Hyena was once a king or a prince, maybe a prince to a family, but because of what happened, but because of what happened through some scandalism, he had to hit his reputation under the rug, and everything about him has to be. It cannot surface, otherwise he's gonna have to leave or some. That's what I'm assuming. I'm assuming. That, well, that's a theory I'm going with. I'm going with Hyena used to be a prince or a king, but because of situations, he had to be gone and leave and everything. And now if news about his past were to come to light, he would have to leave because the reputation that he would be building here can now no longer be fixed or repaired or anything. Um, that's the only thing I can see because he doesn't feel like a commoner. Technically, technically, he is on paper, but the way he acts, the way he, his knowledge, everything, it's not something a common village man can just do so, like, can be able to do. But I'm just saying I do not mind a commoner exceeding, like, the norm in regards to what is expected in the royalty kind of family, but still... I feel like Hyena is indeed royalty, but because of reputations, he's trying to hide it for his own sake and so it doesn't ruin his reputation between him and the princes. And he f maybe he fears that if the princes find out, they would judge him, belittle him, his reputation is ruined, and he would have to leave. That's my theory on what's going on with Hyena, the royal tutor. Um... We also got we finally got introduced to the father of the four princes, and I will have to admit, he's kind of an oddball, kind of something that I would expect from a dad. Um, 
even though he acts very clingy, playful, and kind of an oddball once again, but internally he is actually a very capable, resourceful king. Definitely, I gotta admit, the dude's quite a ladies man. But either way, I definitely like, definitely enjoy the king. Way too young to be a king. Way too young to be a father, though. He's about my age. Like, what the fudge, dude? You have like four 15 year olds or 18 year olds or whatever, and you look like you're in your 20s. What the hell? But either way, love this show so far. Um, Once again, I mentioned a bunch of bullet points regarding Heine. Leon Hard, we find out he is a complete royal dumbass. <laughs> two plus two is three, everybody. Ho ho. <laughs> Are you serious, bro? One plus one is three. <laughs> one. No, you look, 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 man. You got a one right here and a one right here. Put them together. What you get? Eleven. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, that's got to be the funniest part in this whole reaction. I definitely got to make that the thumbnail because that was rich. <laughs> one plus one is three, bro. Minus one more is two. Holy cow. I'm surprised they didn't say something like one plus one equals one. But why would it equal one? Because there's two ones. Might as well make it a third one. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I, mean, I know I'm laughing too much about it, but guys, you don't understand. That shit was funny as hell. Well, one plus one is three, bro. But when you use something that relates to him, he's able to get it in a jiffy. But I like how the series really tries to clutch it toward the end. Even though he scored 59 points, they're like, nah, you didn't make it. But because of how Haina uh, judges his scores, you get a point for your name, bro. There you go, 60 points. <laughs> oh my god, this series. Oh shoot! There's well, there is one thing I am curious about. Where is their mother? I thought that one old I thought that one lady that we see with them the, since the beginning of Hyena's arrival. I thought that lady was their mother. No, that's their grandmother. Are you kidding me? That's a grandmother, bro. She looked like she could be in her thirties or forties. That is not a granny. Unless you Japanese, like, or, I don't want to say Japanese. Well, the the characters of these settings, they mate at a really young age. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I know yawning's contagious. I apologize for everyone that yawned afterwards. But, yeah. Definitely, um... Uh, very interesting episodes, but anyway, yeah, let's get to the questions. Question time, question time. Hmm. <laughs> Trying to think. Question, question. All right, guys, here's an easy question. Since Lex, his job is a waiter, right? Basically at a cafe. If you were to give a job to the other three members, which jobs would they be for each one that best suits them? And let me know why in the comment section below. Question number two. Um...
<sighs> if you were the royal tutor for these princes, what would be the first lesson you would give and let me know why? I know that seems kind of random, but it's just like I'm putting you guys in the place of if you were the tutor, you know what I mean? So yeah, um, yeah, that's it for the questions, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and sub if you haven't already. It really motivates me to put more content out there for you guys. It's my guildmates, and I'll see you guys all in future reactions. Peace. Um, remember, by the way, guys, random thing I want to feed in. Check in the description below of this video. You're going to get mega redirect links. And these redirect links are the full length, unedited, uncut reactions of me of these episodes. So if you want to see them all, check those out there. You can also check in the description below to my Discord, which will be able to open up uh, the Google Drive links. And if you don't have Discord, there's something else that I added. It's called Reactor Sanctuary. It's, some, it's, a, it's a site that I was able to partner up with, with uh, another reactor. For, I think I'll just call him Cobra to make it simpler. So if you're watching this video, bud, um, yeah, um, Cobra, uh, yeah, appreciate you helping me out, by the way. Uh, it's really helping out my subscribers and overall just um, feedback from my channel. So thank you a lot. If you guys want to go to that uh, site, you'll see other reactors. I think there's four more. As no, aside from me and Cobra, there's like three other people there. Uh, you can get my Google, my, uh, I don't have any Google Drive links there yet, but I might get them up there sometime soon. That way, if people don't want to get it through Discord, there's that site, which means no more complaints after that, damn it. All right, then, guys, that's it from me. See you. Peace.